He said, blessed are the peacemakers. Now, when most of us read that verse, here, here's what we think. Jesus is, is encouraging his followers to just keep everybody calm. Make sure nobody's offended. Make sure nobody's feelings get hurt. Make sure there's no yelling and everybody's at peace. And, and every, no matter what, it, it may mean you have to overlook some things. It may mean that you have to ignore some bad behavior. But you know what? That's okay because whatever you need, whatever you have to do, by all means, keep it peaceful. Keep everybody calm. And most Christians wind up placing this really high value on keeping the peace. And, and let me say this real, real, real clear. Don't get me wrong. Peace is a good thing. I mean, the way of Jesus is the way of peace between people. That's true. But in the pursuit of peace, what, what often happens is we wind up being really bad at resolving conflict with each other. And it all comes in the interest of peace. See, most Christians wind up avoiding conflict out of the fear that it might lead to, well, disrupting the peace. And that's how we justify it. We convince ourselves that I'm avoiding this conflict because I want to be a peacemaker. I want to keep the peace between me and these people that I'm dealing with. And in reality, we're not keeping the peace. What actually we're keeping is, well, it's a false peace. What most of us Christians wind up holding on to is we become false peacemakers and not true peacemakers. Because, see, peace out of fear, peace at any cost, that's not real peace. 